This recipe is flavorful and rich. It has tanginess and crunch of all the veggies. You can customize this recipe the way you want. Hey, you magical people, welcome to Salt and Sugar Sada. Today we are making spinach rice or Mexican rice. And for this recipe, we need to preheat our oil on high heat. Now we'll add some roughly diced onions. Saute them for a couple of minutes. Now we're going to add finely chopped ginger. Again, saute them for a couple of minutes. You can use even the ginger paste, but I prefer chopped ginger for this recipe. Now the onions and ginger is being sauteed. So we're going to add our roughly chopped mushroom. You do not have to saute your um, veggies too much because we don't want the soft mushy veggies in that we want the crunch so we're gonna saute all the veggies for a couple of minutes only now it's time to add some more colors we're gonna add some diced bell peppers if you want you can add some other colors or some other veggies as well Saute them too. I'm gonna season them with salt. A little bit mix. Guys, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon so that you will be notified all the time. Now we're gonna add fresh tomato puree followed by tomato paste. Tomato paste not only gives a kind of tanginess, also a very good color. So we're gonna saute the tomato puree and tomato paste with all the veggies. Now we're gonna add frozen corn kernels. If you're using the fresh ones, please boil them first and then add. We're gonna add some paprika and taco seasoning. Like the recipe, please click on the thumbs up button. And if you want to leave any review for the recipe, please comment down below. Now I'm gonna add um, a cup of white rice. These are already boiled. You just have to um, boil the rice in a hot water until they are 90% um, cooked. Now I've added cooked beans and I'm gonna give quick mix to that although the recipe um, has the tanginess but we're gonna add tomato ketchup so that the sweetness of tomato ketchup is gonna balance the tanginess of the recipe We're gonna add our cilantro or coriander leaves or dhania. Give it a good mix now. And now, last but not the least, we're gonna add some uh, spring onions. I'm going to serve my Mexican or Spanish rice with a drizzle of sour cream. If you want, you can just give it on a side and enjoy your Mexican and Spanish rice. Until next time, take care, enjoy. Keep watching Salt and Sugar Saga.